of impromptu, but I just had like a therapy session for myself and honestly, I think that it could help somebody. So I'm gonna talk. If you guys don't know, I have struggled really a ton for the last couple of years with an eating disorder and it started in high school from like being bullied and stuff and I haven't ever really gone into it and that's a complete it's a topic for another day. So for the last like three, fourth of July, I have spent it at home alone while my family goes to the beach because I just, the first two years, I was not in a place where I could go anywhere. I literally didn't leave the house because I was very deep in like my disorder. And mainly why I didn't go this year is because I waited until the last minute trying to figure out, do I wanna go, do I not, do I wanna go, do I not? And then at the last minute, I was like, well, it's too late, I just won't go. And that's kind of how I've always been. I'm very bad with making decisions, but I decided not to go and then the whole weekend I have just felt like a loser because I I let anxiety and like fear of like oh I'm gonna get out of routine like I don't I just don't want to go like I don't know if there I'm gonna have to be around a big crowd of people and I hate that and I let that rule my life and make me sit at home miserable while my family went and made memories I don't know something hit me and I was like I hate that like that what a loser like I'm a loser and I don't want to do that I don't want to spend my summer at home because I get anxious when I have to go out. To me, this is feeding that part of the disorder that is like, you just stick to the safe things and then everything will be fine. If you just stick to the safe things, don't try anything new and you'll be good. But sticking with the safe is also going to lead back to restriction. It's going to lead back, like if I pick the safer option of not going out and hanging out with my family at the beach. If I'm like, well, it's just, it's better to stay at home because I know I'm not going to get an anxiety attack. Then that's going to turn into, okay, well now let's turn this to food. Like, this is a safer option, so you just pick this. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to give myself that inch going back to a place like that. It's just, it's such a slippery slope and I don't, I don't want to have that. And if you've dealt with it, you probably know what I'm talking about. I just had this realization of like, I need to grow up. I'm 20 years old and I'm letting fear get the best of me. I'm letting fear hold me back from making memories with my family or going and enjoying the 4th of July because I'm scared of, well, what if I get anxious? Or what if I get around a group of people and they don't like me? Or I'm like out of routine and then what if I come back and I'm just, I feel awful and I don't like the way I look and then I have a bad body image day. I make up these scenarios that like, I know that they're not gonna happen and it's irrational, but my mind just takes me to like the extreme end and it stops me from doing literally everything. Like it's debilitating sometimes, but what I'm trying to say is I just had that realization and it hit me that I'm 20 years old and I'm still letting fear rule my life. And 20, at 20 years old, I need to be going out and enjoying life and not really caring about, you know, am I working enough and, and that's a lot of what it is, is I, I, I worry about everything. And at 20 years old, you should be having fun. And like my sister, when she was 20, was always going out and partying and stuff. And it was just so, like she was living the life. And me at 20 is completely different. I stress about money. I stress about paying bills. I stress about setting myself up for the future. I feel like I try to fill my life with things that will distract me from addressing how I feel on the inside. And I think it's led to a lot of the issues that I'm having now, like being at home on a holiday weekend while everybody else is going out and having fun. And I'm sitting at home stressing about work <laughs> or trying to build a brand for myself, like not in a stupid way, but like build a brand for myself that I can be like the owner of something that I build for myself, like be my own boss one day. And I know that that's what I want to do, but that doesn't mean that I need to be sacrificing my whole life to get there because life isn't meant to just, oh, I can't get my words out. Life isn't meant to constantly chase being successful in the future if you don't enjoy it. Like it's not worth it. And I struggle with like, I know it and I know that that's true but I do it, like, I do the complete opposite and I stress about it anyway. And back to the beach thing, I'm gonna go back to that. I was thinking about, like, my whole family is down there except me. Like, everyone except me is down there. And I feel left out, but it's all my own choice. Like, I did that. And I know that I, I put myself in that position because I was scared and anxious about 
what might happen in the weekend. Like, I was scared about the bad things that might go wrong over the weekend, but I also could have thought about all the good things, like all the memories that I could have made. Well, what if this goes amazing this weekend? Or what if I do something that is like life-changing? But I always like think about what could go wrong. And that's kind of what reels me back in and just keeps me from just living life. Honestly, I'm like having the realization now. So I'm sorry if it's all over the place, but I just wanted to talk this out because I think a lot of people can relate to this and they don't know how to put it into words. And maybe my self can help a little bit with that. This isn't really about the food. It's, I know that food won't hurt me, but if I go and indulge, I'm scared that I'm gonna like having that freedom. I'm scared that I'm going to take that freedom and go to the extreme because I know that I always take extremes. Like when I started working out and stuff like years ago and started like paying attention to what I ate, I went to this like extreme side of restriction and I know that I had the tendency to be all in and I don't wanna take that same mindset if I go just let myself chill out for a little bit. I'm scared if I take a break that when I come back, I'm not gonna be able to get back into that habit of you know, working and being focused on what I need to get done. That's irrational because I know that like once I get back into the swing and things, it'll go back to normal, but my mind, it just tells me like, no, if you let a little bit loose, then everything else is gonna unravel. I was writing it down and it hit me and I said, if I go back to start living freely, I'm scared that I'll go back to looking how I did before. And looking the way I did before brings back memories of feeling inadequate, being picked on, shamed, and told that I was worthless because of how my body looked. That's what I actually fear. It's not the food, but what may happen if I let go. I know that I'm safe and complacent. If I stick to my routine, I know I'm fine. I know my body will stay the same. I'll be productive. I'll keep doing what I have been doing. But I need to realize that those people that made me feel that way, that made me feel inadequate in high school, and talked about me the way that I now talk about myself. I don't see them anymore. They aren't in my daily life. I don't have to be invalidated every day now because the people that love me are here for me and those are the people that are important. The way that I talk about myself now and how negative I am about my body or how I feel about myself and how successful I am, it comes from being told all those things in high school. And I think I had this fear that if I let go of it and live life, that the, all those things are gonna come back, like being picked on and told that I wasn't good enough. But then I had the realization like they're not, like I'm not around those people. When I was in school, I had to go to school and see those people every day. And I don't have to see them now. And. It's just crazy that I'm still hung up on that, but I like I know that if I were to go live life and just have a 4th of July weekend at the beach with my family, like I know that I'm gonna be surrounded by my family that loves me and they just want me to be there. And I'm, I know that if I were to go to like the beach for the 4th of July, that I would be surrounded by people that love me. I would be surrounded by my family and they just want me there. They don't, they don't care how it comes. They don't care how it's packaged. They just want me to be there because they want to make memories with me. And I'm not gonna have to run into people that I went to high school with that picked on me. Like I'm not gonna have to be put in that mindset. I've spent the last three years unhappy and holding myself back because I was scared that I was gonna have to deal with those people again and, and have to deal with that situation of being told that like, you don't look good or that I was stupid or that I was ugly and I would never amount to anything. Like I don't have to deal with that anymore. I now get to choose who comes into my life. I'm not in high school anymore. Like I don't have to see those same people every day. I choose who I get to put in my life and I'm ready to start living. I think I'm ready to let go. Maybe that made sense. I don't know. I can't believe I just cried. It's your reminder, it's not the food. You need to dig deeper.